I'm Doug Britton, Director of Family Life Ministries at Heights Church. Today we're wrapping up our five-day series on the theme, Because He Lives in Me, I Can... This theme comes from Galatians 5, verses 22 and 23. So let's look in our Bible and, and read these verses. This is Paul writing to the Galatian church. He wrote, The Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I love this passage because it shows us that as we draw close to God, He changes us on the inside, molding our character, helping us to become a little bit more like Jesus. Today we're going to look at self-control, the last fruit listed in this passage. And I, I think it's important to realize that the self-control Paul is writing about is really different from trying really, really hard to do the right thing. It's drawing close to God throughout the day, allowing Him to transform us, making us more loving and self-controlled. But before we move any further, I guess I want to add one thing about this self-control thing, and that is, this is a really challenging topic for me. To be honest, I have failed in the self-control area so many times in my life. I've, I've said things I knew I shouldn't say, I've done things I knew I shouldn't do. Now, on the other hand, there's things I knew I was supposed to do I didn't do. There's things I was supposed to say I didn't say. And all I can say is I'm so glad for God's forgiveness, His mercy, and His grace. If it weren't for that, I couldn't be here talking with you. I couldn't be sharing with you. But I know I'm not alone because you are human beings too. If you're alive and you're breathing, you are sometimes struggling with self-control too. As James wrote in James 3, 2, everyone stumbles in many ways. You may be a pastor, you may be a church member, you may not even know the Lord, but you struggle with self-control. We all do. It's just part of life. In fact, today, each one of us is going to make many decisions. We're going to face decision points, time when we could really use some self-control or self-discipline. So, for example, ask yourself these questions. These are decision points. Will I read the Bible today? Well, that's a decision point for sure. Will I get angry when someone annoys me? Will I work on a project that I keep putting off? Man, I have trouble with that. I don't know about you. Will I eat too much? Or will I drink something that's bad for me? Will I make good choices about what to look at on my smartphone or watching TV? There's so many things. There's interactions and relationships. Will I encourage other people or will I tear them down? These are decision points. Well, we might not always face the same decision points every day, but we do face decision points. So, I'd like to ask, would you like to see yourself become more self-controlled? It's sure something I'm working on. And if you'd like to join me in, in a very simple practic tool, practical tool, I'm going to tell you about STP, Stop, Think, Pray. S stands for stop. Don't do or say something impulsively. Stand, T stands for think. What's really going on? What would God want you to do? How would God want you to talk? P stands for pray. Ask God to help you be wise, loving, and self-controlled. Also ask Him to help you act and talk in ways that please Him. So STP is really uh, uh, something that reminds you of what to do. Let's say you're in a situation where you feel yourself getting really angry, or you get really frustrated, or you, somebody cuts you off in traffic. Just quietly say to yourself, STP, and then stop, think, and pray. Uh, not stop in the middle of the highway, but you know, Stop responding. Don't start shaking your fist or do something else. Uh, think about the person and then pray for the person who cut you off. Okay, STP isn't a magic formula, but it is an easy way you can remind yourself to turn to God for wisdom and self-control. So I would just like to encourage you to give that a try and to, to also encourage you with this word of encouragement. Because he lives in you, you can grow in self-control. May God bless you.